Hey YouTube, it is Margaret. This is my week 21 update from post, post op. I mean, I cannot talk today. Uh, from VSD surgery, which I had on September 3rd, 2014, with Dr. Lee Smith in Birmingham, Alabama. Today is January the 28th, 2015. So it is exactly 21 weeks. Um, my numbers, my highest weight was 266, which was 22 weeks ago. And day of surgery, I was 255.4. Last week, I was 200.6. And this morning was 197.8, which is like a 2. Point, what is that? 2.8? 2. 2. something. Um, pound loss from last week. So, yay. I am in Wonderland. However, there's my cat. Every video, swear. Um, <laughs> light. Um, so I felt like, I don't know if you watched Melly Mae's videos, but she was talking about how when she hit Wonderland, how it didn't um, feel to her what she thought it was going to feel like. She was just like, yep, okay, done. And that's kind of how I felt like it, like, I guess because it had been like three weeks that every day I stepped on the scale and like, is today the day? Is today the day? Is today the day? And because it went on for so long that I was like, when it finally was, I was like, yay, today's the day. Okay. Now let's see if tomorrow I'll still be that different. You know, it was just like, okay, done, check, next goal. Um, it wasn't like a jump for joy kind of moment, which, you know, I guess it kind of should have been or... I don't know. Look at my face. It is so broken out. I don't even know. I'm going to do a water challenge and see if I can help my skin because I just got like bags under my eyes and my skin is all broken out and I can't get it to clear up no matter what I use. So I'm pretty sure it's because I'm not drinking water. So I'm going to start drinking my water. Wow, that was totally off subject. Anyways, so, my next goal is to weigh less than my husband, which is a moving target because he's training for a marathon. So, um, last the other day when I told him, I think his weight was 179 or 180 or something like that. So, um, but he's a moving target. So, I told him he better stop so I can catch up to him. <laughs> okay. Um, what else is going on? So, um... I have this whole mental thing that's going on and that's I'm wondering at what point I'm going to recognize I mean like uh, my clothes are bigger I keep getting in smaller clothes and in my head I somehow am like I go shopping and I'm like, okay, this fits. And I'm like, they must have changed their sizing. Like, I can't wrap my brain around the thought that I'm actually getting smaller. Like, I keep, you know, rationalizing as, oh, well, I haven't tried on these clothes in a long time. Or, um, this must be a big 12. And, you know, um, I wore a size 14 pants today and they were they were too big. Um, I could have been in a 12, but I had them here and I hadn't tried them on since surgery. Um, and the last time I tried them on, I couldn't even get them buttoned. And then today they were too big. So I waited too long to try them on. But I just wonder if at any point I'd like, you know, if you're further out, you know, it is at any point, does your mind catch up to your actual image or is it always, am I now just going to be not now, but when I, like, because I wasn't excited about Wonderland the way I had envisioned I would have been when I was 266, I wonder if when I'm 280 and, I'm 280, when I'm 180 and 170 and then I, you know, hit goal at 166, like, am I going to be able to look at myself in the mirror and like what I see and be proud of what I've done? Or is it always going to be, 
okay, done, check, what's next? Um, where do I go from here? Or, uh, so it's just like this mental game that's constantly in the forefront. Um, but anyways, okay, enough about that. So, I don't know if I posted this on one of my videos or on Facebook, but uh, the last time I went to my doctor, he told me I could move on to just regular multivitamin, which I was super excited about because I hated my bariatric chewable vitamins. Um, it was just like the bariatric advantage, I think. I don't, even, I don't even have them here in front of me, but I hated them. Like, I got to a point where I wasn't taking my vitamins because I would go to take them. Hang on. I would go to take them and I would chew them up and I would just like hold it in my mouth and like couldn't swallow it. So, um, so I, so I got gummy vitamins, like adult regular multivitamin, but the nutrition stats on those versus the bariatric vitamins are like huge difference. I, I don't know if you've ever compared them, but they're like huge difference. So I was wondering, okay, should I just take the normal dosage, which is two, or should I be doubling up to try to, even doubling up wouldn't even get to what the bariatric vitamins are. So I was like, all right. So I know I can't do the chewable because they're too like, I don't know. I just couldn't stomach them anymore. So I went on and I ordered these, which is the Celebrate. They're the orange flavored and they're a multivitamin soft chew. Now, that's my fault for not really paying attention because I thought they were like a gummy. So, I got them in and I opened them. I'm going to show you. But they're a bariatric vitamin. So, they've got, you know, all the, a lot more vitamins. So, first of all, the smell is very vitamin-y. Um, they come individually wrapped in these little cubes. And then they're like a starburst. They look like a starburst. Um, they're not. They're not horrible. <laughs> I know my face says different, but they're definitely not a starburst. They're orange, but they're very vitamin flavored. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do these. I'm supposed to do two every day. And I've got them on Saturday. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do these. I'm just going to go back to my gummy vitamins because those actually taste good. I was hoping that these would taste good so I could get in more vitamins because I know I'm not eating my vitamins, but... Maybe I'll save these and do a giveaway. <laughs> I don't know. I'll try to eat them. They're not horrible. Maybe they'll grow on me. I can eat them fast. I don't know. But anyways, if you want to try them, I wouldn't recommend it. Then I also got these. Creamy Bites. Chocolate Fudge. Calcium Citrate. They're... Calcium citrate plus vitamin D. The problem with them is they're huge. If it was just like a little chew, I think I could do it. But this thing, it looks like a chocolate. It looks appetizing, right? I don't remember what it tastes like. It also is very vitamin-y. I, I just can't do that. I don't even know what it tastes like. You know what it tastes like? I know exactly what it tastes like. Some of those protein bars. Oh, I can't do that at all. That is disgusting. Message me if you want these. I will send them to you. There are. They're bad. Really bad. But maybe you'll like them. <laughs> I don't like them. I will not be eating those. 
So, and then I got these. I got all these from Celebrate. These are the I'm Plus C Tangerine Chewables. This is what they look like. They don't smell bad. Again, very, very dry. Um, out of the three, it's very, very tart. This is the best out of the three things. I could do these one a day. The chews are supposed to be two a day. Maybe if I did one in the morning and one at night, I could not do two at a time. The calcium things, I cannot do those. Those are... If you want these calciums, you let me know. I'll send them to you. Okay, on to the third thing. I have tried Quest Bars. I don't like Quest Bars. But, at my Publix, had this, which is a Quest Bar. Peanut Butter Supreme. It's got high fiber. It has 17 grams of fiber. Two sugars. 20 grams of protein, 210 calories for the whole bar. Um, I do want to try the new s'mores one, and I was going to try to go to my GNC today and get it, but today has been crazy. So instead, you get a taste test of this thing. All right, here's what it looks like. Again, this is peanut butter... Supreme. It's got like a picture of a pie. I do like peanut butter. It smells very, very peanutty. It is very chewy. <laughs> All right. Maybe eating this right after those vitamins wasn't the best idea. It doesn't really have a flavor. It's very chewy. And very peanut peanutty. Not so much peanut buttery. You know what it kind of tastes like? Do you ever get those Halloween candies? The peanut peanut chews. They were like a chew, but they were like peanut flavored. That's what it tastes like. It's not very sweet. It does have chunks of peanuts in it. It's very, very dry. Not very dry and very chewy. I'm just not a fan. It's not like I'm like, mmm. Especially this one is kind of cardboard flavory. So, epic fail on everything that I try tonight. I will not be purchasing that again. I will not be finishing that bar. <sighs> Things what I do like. I went to Trader Joe's. And I should have brought them up. But I didn't. Um, sorry. It's really gross, I not Um, I went to Trader Joe's and I got the jalapeno stuffed olives that Lauren talked about. And I'm like addicted to those. I eat at least three of them a day. I think a serving is three. Two or three. They're so good. Um, I got the spinach and kale, reduced guilt spinach and kale yogurt dip. It's really good. The guacamole, reduced guilt guacamole is really good. I got the little chicken parmesan lollipops and I made those for dinner the other night. I was really the only one that liked them. My family didn't like them. Um, but I thought they were good. The mushroom medley was good. Um, what else did I get there? Oh, the cookie butter. 
you know, that's not very friendly, but it's awesome. I eat like a spoonful at a time. Um, it's really good. What did I? Oh, I got the broccoli, um, VSG granny. Talked about the broccoli florets. They're almost kind of like a broccoli chip, but they're like broccoli, but they're fried. She said they were awesome. I did not like them at all. They were very, very dry, and they kind of just like, I should have brought them up. I'll do that next week and kind of show you what they look like. But I thought maybe if I dipped them in some something that they might be better, but I haven't tried that yet. So anyways, I have managed to ramble on for 15 minutes. So if you are still watching, um, oh, you know what I do want to say? Um, I have gotten a bunch of new subscribers lately, and I'm right at over 200, like 201, maybe 202. Um, so that's awesome. So thank y'all if you're new. Um, and you're just watching. Um, thanks for joining. I do do, uh, I do do, that didn't sound good. I do weekly updates and occasionally one between that. Um, so yeah, so thanks. And wow, I have been really boring today. Sorry. Anyways, <laughs> I'll talk to y'all next week. Bye.